Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just a real quick video, I wanted to give you guys a warning about using bearings, just because in this last week I've broken a lot of uh, bearings, both 7mm and 8mm. Uh, most recently, it's been this one right here. Um, this is at the bottom of the spur, um, and this is pretty much where I break all the bearings that I ever break, is on the bottom of the spur. And the reason for that is the spur gear well, or the reason I think that is because the spur gear takes the force of the um, of the sector gear. The sector gear picks up the piston, you know, obviously pulls the um, the whole piston assembly here, but all that force gets directed this way, sort of diagonally in the way that I can see it. And then also you also have forces from the bevel gear pushing up this way um, to try and you know turn this gear to turn this gear as well. So all that force gets pushed back on on the bevel like this or sorry the spur like this and because of that your bearings crush like that um, and I've done this on uh, some 8 millimeter steel bearings I've done this on 8 millimeter ceramic bearings I've done this on 7 millimeter steel bearings and quite frankly I'm over it so my per my personal professional recommendation is going to be if you have um, a bearing set or bearings in your gun you know, they do make your gun smoother, but um, at least for the bottom of the spur, at the very least for the bottom of the spur, I recommend putting a bushing down here um, to to solve that, to, to keep that um, force from crushing any bearings. Because at first, for the longest time, I thought that, oh, well, if I just throw some modified ceramic bearings on the bottom, because those are the strongest bearings that I know of, um, it'll be fine for just about any build. But I, I crushed another set the other day, and I'm just like... I'm over at this point, so guys, if you are using bearings in your system, I'd recommend at the bottom of the spur, for at the very least, um, especially if you're planning on upgrading or doing high-stress builds, um, put a bushing in there. Um, I know that the SHS bushings sit a little high, so you have to sand them down to make them, um, to make them uh, flush fitting with the gearbox so that you can shim correctly, but I have two alternatives for you. If you go with either stock VFC bushings or... Um, stock VFC or uh, Lonex bushings, Lonex steel bushings, they, they sit flush against the gearbox. So um, just, just some thoughts in case you guys are breaking bearings and don't know why. Um, otherwise, I will talk to you guys later.